Good morning. Welcome back to John a Day. I'm here with Evan. Uh, and we're looking at John chapter 6, verses uh, 25 to 31. So I'm going to read it, and then we'll share our thoughts. <clears throat> when they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What sign then will you give, that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So a really interesting passage. Uh, my light bulb is the fact that, uh, you know, these people, they come to Jesus, they're focused on uh, what they want and wanting signs from Jesus rather than actually believing. And it's something that I think a lot of people can do often because, it, you know, we can't see God physically and so we always want to look for signs that he's there. But sometimes, you know, you've just got to trust that he's there. Hmm. I think it's a really funny passage. Um, obviously, this, this comes right after the feeding of 5,000 or the 4,000, one of them. 5, Lots of people fed. You know, 5,000. Um, and here they are finding Jesus again. And like we, we turn up to verse 20, 25 and they say, Oh, Rabbi, <laughs> when did you get here? That's great timing because we're hungry again. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's really, really funny. Um, and kind of watching Jesus get a bit frustrated with them is very interesting as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, my question about the passage is, like, why are these people so insistent on getting more food after they've just been fed? Why are they so focused on... Uh, you know, receiving signs from Jesus rather than just trusting him and following him. But then I guess I look back at my own life and how sometimes I find it so hard to trust in God. And it, it can be hard, but you've just got to persevere with it. And looking into the Bible is a great way to deal with that. It might not even have to be that complex. It might just be that they were just greedy. Yeah. Because um, who doesn't want a free lunch? Uh -huh. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think I really had a question from this passage. So moving on to application. My application is also kind of linked with the first two. And it's that, you know, am I coming to God just for what I want? Because I, I'm always in need of stuff. Or am I coming him to coming to him to grow my relationship? I think um, applying for for me, you know, we see kind of uh, like the I guess uh, real humanity in the face of benevolence, power, you know, um, take advantage of it. How much can we get from it? Um, but Jesus says you can have this stuff, just live the way that I want to. Um, so I guess, um, uh, yeah, believing in the one that God has sent and having that lead to all the matter from heaven and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think you know we can, we can, we had, well, we said before we can have, have we can have the cake and eat it, um, you know. Uh, but there's belief that comes along with that. It's not as if you know that's the vegetables that goes with the cake. No, that's like insert another very very tasty food that goes with the cake you know um i think maybe they kind of just want to jump over the belief bit because they think it's hard but um well belief it can be hard but it's not it's certainly not you know 
uh, dragging or frustrating or annoying. Um, yeah, it can be difficult sometimes as you talked about, but um, um, there are there are rewards now, and there are rewards in the future uh, for believing in the one that the Father has sent. Yeah, and I guess if you keep building up that belief and trust then it gets easier over time mm. and it actually becomes easier to pour out what's been already given to you. Yeah. I think another thing as well, I'm sorry. That's fine. Because I didn't have a question, so I get two applications. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that um, here is just coming off the back of our pastoral um, uh, care sermon from the weekend. Here are people who come to Jesus and they are asking him for physical needs. And if we remember from, from Trent's talk that uh, pastoral care should be a biblical care, not just a crisis care or the looking after physical needs. And so Jesus sees through the person who, in Trent's case, comes to the front door and asks for the gift card because Jesus knows that they just want to abuse that. Um, and so he says, actually, yeah, I'm not going to give you these things because you're trying to abuse me. And I think here's a real life example of Jesus putting that into action. Whereas I think maybe in pop culture, Jesus might be confused for someone who would just give the bread to whoever wanted it and not and kind of not make a fuss of it. But here Jesus is saying, I gave to you, now you're taking advantage of me. I'm not going to give to you again um, because I'm not going to be taken advantage of. I'm God I'm, and I'm not here to be mucked around with. And so for us as the church going forward, you know, uh, thinking about how we, we care for those who, who, who believe in the one that God has sent, um, rather than being taken advantage by those who don't and see that, that we can be taken advantage of. Mm. Yeah. As for speech bubble, uh, I think it might be a cool thing to say to someone, just to talk to them about, you know, at what point does your relationship with God become less about what you get out of it from Him and more about, you know, growing your relationship with God and using what He gives you uh, to support others. And doing the work, yeah. And I guess it's just a matter of maturity. You had a pretty cool uh, speech bubble. Did I? Yeah. Did I? What was it? The one about leeching off your parents. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, uh, when was the last time someone leeched off you? Because here are people trying to leech off Jesus. Um, you know, when was the last time you had someone try and, like, just leech stuff off you? Or if you're a parent, you know, what did your kids try and leech off you most recently? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit funny. Um, you know, interesting way to kind of... Uh, you know, I guess, find your way into this passage, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to finish up now. We're going to pray after this. And we both encourage you to share your Swedish method in the comments. Uh, and feel free to pray afterwards as well. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.